You are the fire. The action happens right now on Mari. Kendra has been a devoted wife to her husband, Richard. Only thing I did was be a good woman. But she's scared to death that her husband now has a child from an affair with this woman. If he is the father, what's going to happen? Bye bye, Birdie. And in a shocking twist, he's now denying his wife Kendra's baby, too. Because my son don't have no features of him. I'm tired of being played by my wife in this two-night stand from hell. Two paternity tests and one marriage on the brink of divorce. Richard! No! 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 Claudia and her daughter Ellen are back for the fifth time to test two more men for the father of baby Cheyenne. You don't yes, want to stop. Him. I'm going to find the baby's daddy. I admit I slept with Ellen, but so did everybody else in Oklahoma. Two men. Which one is the father? and more shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. The only reason Dominique is saying it's Valentine's baby is because she's trying to break us up. He doesn't want you, he got me. A rebound, that's what she is. You think you look like that child? Honestly, I don't. Valentine. It's an unbelievable hour of paternity drama, and it happens now. Everyone, this is Kendra. Now, Kendra's marriage is falling apart. See, it started when Kendra discovered that she was pregnant while her husband, Richard, was away on business. And, and then, when she delivered the news, instead of being happy about it, Richard started accusing Kendra of cheating. And then, and then he immediately began to deny their baby, Richard III, What's worse is, because of Richard's suspicions, he turned around and cheated on Kenra oh. with, with this woman, Corrine, see? And now, now Corrine claims that her son, Emmanuel, belongs to Richard. Oh. This is Kendra's story. Richard, I thought we was gonna have the perfect life, the perfect family, but he screwed all that up for us. The first thing he did to mess up our marriage is to deny our son. He claims when he was out of town that I cheated and got pregnant. I never cheated on my husband, and I'm positive that he is the father. Because he thinks that I'm cheating, he went out and cheated with another woman named Corinne. He got her pregnant, and that was mistake two and three. Richard believes that Corinne's son is not his. He better be right. If I find out today that Corinne's baby is his, I am gone. So, so Kendra is here not only to Richard that he is the father of her son, she's also here to find out if Richard fathered that baby with another woman. And she says if he did, she's going to file for divorce. Kendra, you're positive he's the father of you. I am positive. Only thing I did for this man was be a good woman. That's it. If I wanted to cheat on him and be out here making babies, I would have did that. He's denying my son because my son don't have no features of him. Really? I can't help that. He looks like me. All in the face, he looks like me, his mom. And that goes to show that my genes are stronger than yours. That's why he doesn't look like you. Richard says, because he's away driving the truck, right? Or something like that. Is that what does he do? He was over the road, and at the point in time, I was with him 24 7. Then I found out that I was pregnant. So after a while, I got off the truck and stayed at home. Right. But he thinks that I cheated on him. While and he it's was not away. Him. While yes. He, while he was on the truck. Yes. Oh, I see. When did you find out he was with this woman? I didn't find out this till years later. So we started getting child support papers in the mail really? about another child. 
He denies that child. Yeah, too. he denies it. He said, all so that he denies both kids. Yeah. If he is the father, what's going to happen? Bye bye, Birdie. <laughs> We spoke to Richard yesterday. This is what Richard had to say. Watch this. I love my wife, but I'm convinced that she's been cheating on me, and Richard III may not be mine. Because I suspected my wife was cheating on me, I cheated with a girl named Corinne, and now I got her saying that her baby's mine. I know this baby is not mine. She was living with another man, and I didn't even find out about the baby until he was two years old. I'm tired of being played by my wife in this two nights stand from hell. Richard III is tall and skinny. I was never tall and skinny. I was short and chubby. Manuel was dark skinned. I'm like brown. I can't be his dad. Kendra, today I'm going to prove that Kareem's baby is not mine. If the test results come back that your baby isn't mine, you can pack your bags and you and Kareem can become roommates because I'm out. Here's Richard. Together, right? Yes, we do. Okay, so why you get all upset about her? Why you? Why are you into her face? Maury, I was out on the road. I'm a truck driver. You know, right. I know I'm gone two, three weeks. And I was two, with you. I'm gone two, three weeks at a time. You and know, I was I, with you. If I get, you wasn't with me. You yes, with, I you, was. You That's when I found me. out. I was on the road you with you. With, you wasn't with me. You know, I, I was, I'm going two, three weeks at a time. If I get lonely out on the road, I know she get lonely at home. Whatever. You know why? We, 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 we been gone. We've been, we been, whatever, whatever. We've been together whatever. for how long, Mari? Whatever. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, have, I don't have local job when I come home every night. Why she didn't get pregnant then? She and get I pregnant so when I'm going two, three weeks at a time. Man. I would have been with another man. Yeah, I would have yeah. never that, married you. Son Richard, they call him little Kendra. His name so is Richard. What? They call him little Kendra. Like his mama. They say, oh, I that ain't your baby. That can't be your baby. I can't help that. You really believe she's around on you? I think so, yeah. She lies about everything. And then, and then because of that, you messed around on her. Yeah, I made a mistake, you know, and but yeah. But it's not, it's not, it's not my baby, though. It's you not don't my, think it's your baby? No. She just, you love your wife, right? I love my wife. Your wife. You know what she says if you're the father of that other child. What she's saying, what she do is two different things, Maury. <laughs> you don't from you. She ain't going nowhere, Maury. Yeah, okay. Huh? Okay. He can think that all he want to. You can think that all you want to. By the if way, that baby if back you're the father of that, that other child, you take care of that child. Yeah, I, I take care of my responsibility, but it ain't mine. Okay. Wow. Now, this... this one time. Thing. Yeah, she's an she, internet. Anybody out here could be her baby daddy. She was on the internet. She was on the internet. This is what she had to say to you, Kendra. Watch. Kendra, just like you, I'm going to prove to Richard that he is the father of my son, Emmanuel. You need to know that he lied to me from the beginning and he is nothing but a doll. When I told him I was pregnant, he disconnected his phone and moved away like the coward that he is. I know the DNA test will prove that Richard is the father and if I were you, I would leave him alone. This is not the first time he cheated on you and you know that as well. So Kendra step up if that's your child and you will right all right yeah. okay all right if he is the father of this other child you're going to kick him out yeah, I'm, I'm leaving <laughs> well we're going to find out right now about it Be the father of Richard the Third, don't you? Yeah, I better be the father. I've been around for this you long. Are the father. I better you be the father. father. It's gonna be. In the, the case, three-year-old Richard the Third, Richard, you are the father. <laughs> In the case of two-year-old Emmanuel, Richard. One more paternity test. Richard. Did her husband father another woman's baby? No! 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 Claudia and 
her daughter Ellen are back for the fifth time to test two more men for the father of baby Cheyenne. You don't yes, want to honey, stop. Him. I'm gonna find the baby's dad. I admit I slept with Ellen, but so did everybody else in Oklahoma. Two men. Which one is the father? <laughs> shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. This is Ellen and her mother, Claudia. This is their fifth time on the show. Now, for the past two years, Ellen and Claudia have been trying to find the father of Ellen's daughter, Cheyenne. And look how cute she is. Now, today, they're going to test a fifth and sixth man. One of the guys is a mystery man. He refused to appear. And then there's a man named Bobby. Now, there's these men not tested before. And we're going to get to that in a moment. But first, take a look at their appearances on the show. Wilbur is a two-time jerk. He got me pregnant. He gave me an STD. And he walked out on me and my baby. Wilbur's a low lie. I'm the one that's getting my step down and started by Pampers while Wilbur's sitting home on his back. Chinese. Does it look like I'm from Chinatown? Wilbur, you are not. We were all shocked by these results. Shortly after that show, Claudia and Ellen came back with a second man to test. We were together for a month. I'm the one that goes get her diapers. I'm the one that goes to the store. I am not the father. Richard, you are not. <laughs> Ellen and her mom, Claudia, came back to the show for the third time, desperate for a man named Doug to be the father. I'm 150% sure that he is the father. Doug, you are not. Oh, Soon after, Ellen and Claudia returned, this time convinced a fourth man named Chaz was Cheyenne's dad. You know Chaz said he had a vasectomy. I don't think it went right. Chaz is not the father. Oh. Oh. So now, we have two more men. Bobby, who's here, and another man who refused to be here. Now, Ellen, apparently, and you want to be able to explain this to people, one of the reasons why there's such unsureness as to who the father is because there's been a medical development, apparently. Um, I went to the doctor. The doctor says that my pituitary gland is messed up. It's, it's part of your brain, and it tells you when to have a period and when not to. See, really? she didn't have a period. I see, did not have a period for at least six months. Six I see. So you don't know when the heck, so you don't know when the heck you conceived. Right. You think he I'm hoping he is because, uh. Why? He lived with us off and on for eight years. What about this guy, Bobby? Well, oh, we, my God. He, he's an ass, okay? Wow. He, okay, put it this way, he's 40 years old, okay? He 45, not people. 40. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, you you know what you know what is, but a jackass. You had six people to What's up? What is up with that kill you? That's it. Oh, my God. The way things are, if this is not my baby, then y'all need to stay away from me. If it is, then I'll step up. I'm gonna tell you something. What about the first time you went out with my daughter? You, you said you was 23. You, my daughter. You lied. I lied. Yeah. But why would you let your daughter date somebody else and just Come take on. her to a motel room and drop her off? Oh. That's all right. This father of Cheyenne. If, if he is, you know what? He better step up. Watch your mouth. Because if you don't step up. If I am the father, you know what? If we'll you don't see. Step up, my foot's gonna be up his butt. Is that right? 
Well, I guess it's time to meet Bobby. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 What Bobby had to say. I'm Bobby. I'm the sixth man to be tested for Ellen's baby Cheyenne. I admit I slept with Ellen, but so did everybody else in Oklahoma. There's no telling who the father can be. Bobby should stay out of my business and help keep her daughter's legs closed. Cheyenne is not my daughter. She looks nothing like me. When the DNA test comes back and I am not the father, I want y'all to stay out of my life. Here's Bobby, everybody. Welcome, Bobby. Here's Bobby. Oh, Why not? Because it took him two and a half years to come and say something to me. I see. No, and we I were trying to house. find you last year. We were trying to find you last year, but your ass is hard to find. What? I live in the same house. I'll stand up. What is it about Claudia? What, what, what's the deal here? How come this is oil and water? What's going on? I don't know. They got an attitude towards it, which is really kind of stupid to me, but the way I look at this, <laughs> if, it, if, your daughter had, if you hadn't slept around, we wouldn't be here. Then you yeah. asked me to marry you? Yes, I you did. You know what? You're a sorry. <laughs> Thank you. And now we're going to find out right now. <laughs> We've had six possibilities, and we want it to end today. In the case of two-year-old Cheyenne, the man who could not be here. The fifth and sixth man tested. Two men. Which one is the father? <laughs> the only reason Dominique is saying it's Valentine's baby is because she's trying to break us up. He doesn't want you. He got me. She's a rebound. That's what she oh. is. You think you look like that child? Honestly, I don't. Valentine. One more paternity test. Did her husband father another woman's baby? No! No! You are the father. Get off my stage! Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. This is Dominique. Now, Dominique is filled with blinding rage, and it's directed at two people. Her ex, Valentine, and his <laughs> Betsy. See? <laughs> After breaking up with <laughs> Dominique found out she was pregnant with a baby that, according to Dominique, she and Valentine had been trying to have. <laughs> now, baby Nielli is now three months old. <laughs> But once Valentine moved on and got married to Betsy, Dominique says he and his wife refused to claim Nayeli as his child. Now we're going to talk to Dominique and first. Here's what Valentine and Betsy had to say. Watch. Dominique is out of her mind to think her daughter Nayeli is mine. That girl's a liar, a cheater, and she's just crazy. Dominique cheated on me with her ex around the time that she told me she was pregnant. He's probably the real father of her baby. The only reason Dominique is saying it's Valentine's baby is because she's trying to break us up. That is not going to happen. Leave us alone, stalker. I heard rumors that Dominique was already pregnant when I first got with her. Maury, you gotta call the man in the little white jacket because this girl is crazy to think she's gonna trap me. I am pregnant with Valentine's baby and Dominique is just jealous. It's pathetic that she's trying to come between us with another man's kid. I'm not your baby's father, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. What do you think of that? He knows that we planned that baby. He knows damn well that I was not pregnant when we got together. We'll, we'll see what the results say. We'll see what the results pregnant say, pregnant and we'll so find out. I can out. see my baby mother. Really? Really. That's what he said That's to exactly you. what he said. I'm gonna get you pregnant. Yup. That he's yep. gonna get me pregnant so he can say that I'm his baby mother. And yep. now look what he got. Now. 
You, by the way, by the way, said at one time after you were pregnant that you might not go through with the pregnancy. Yep, I did because my mother had passed away and all he wanted to do was argue with me, argue with me, argue with me. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to keep the baby. That's it. Leave it at that. And I didn't talk to him. I was unsure. Then when I was three months pregnant, I called him and let him know that I was keeping the baby. And this thing right there took the phone and decided to say that that's not his baby, that I'm just trying to come between but him. She ain't had nothing to do but with it. I, I'm my thing own person, is, yo. But the funny thing is, is that she didn't even know about me when they got married. Oh, really? That's why she's mad. It's oh. because she had no clue about me. Oh, so she he was seeing both of you at the same time. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey. Oh, he met her no. and married her two weeks later. She's a rebound. That's what she oh. is. A rebound. <laughs> that is what she is. That is what she is. Hey, mommy, can you just let me out? Yeah, bring him out. Bring yeah, him right? out. Yeah, bring yeah. him out. Bring him out. Right. I'll bring, bring him out. out. Let's bring him out. We'll bring him out right now. Okay. We didn't plan the baby right, Val? Take a seat. Right? See, you wanted to come out here, Valentine. Yeah, I did. Why? Because you want to counter it. Right? Tell exactly. Me. Exactly. Tell exactly. Me. exactly. I don't, I don't have say. nothing to say with you, man. You a skank. You a skank. Oh, you cheated oh, yeah. on me. Before we even I got did. together, you I was already pregnant. You. you was already pregnant. You telling me that you wasn't. Everybody in the we live in New Hampshire knows you was pregnant, right? You going to tell me this is the second time you don't even know who the father is. Oh, really? Come on, who's the hoe? Really? You. You, 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 don't hate, don't hate, don't hate, don't hate, don't hate, cause we married, don't hate cause we married. I'm not cause you married, let me tell you something, let me tell you something, you got a wife right there, Exactly. three baby daddies, the fourth on the way, two, 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 that's me, that's me, that's me, three, three baby daddies. Valentine, you think you look like that child? Honestly, I don't. I think he, she looked more like the, the first dude she thought was her baby daddy. I'm gonna make sure I bring it real close for when these results come right. back. Go ahead, because I guarantee you, you touch me, and you're gonna get you ain't touching me. What, what you, you gonna, gonna do? You ain't Did you tell her to make her pregnant? At first, it was like that till I found out she was cheating on me with one of my. When it comes to three-month-old Nayeli, Valentine, you are not the Linda and I are supposed to get married, but if I find out Liam's not mine, the wedding's off. Well, keep watching to find out the unforgettable DNA result. Richard, did her husband father another woman's no, baby? No. shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. This is Linda. Last year, Linda was on our show with her boyfriend, Will, because she believed he was cheating on her behind her back. Watch. I fear that, that he might be with another woman. What'd you find in the laundry? I found a pair of thong underwear with a rubber duck on the front, and I... My biggest fear is having to tell my kids that the greatest man that's ever come into their life is gone. When deserves this?
cheated on her. No, not at all. The thong underwear that Linda found come from a woman you've had sex with. You said no. That was the truth. <laughs> Since you've been with Linda, have you ever had sex with any other woman? You said no. That was the truth. See? Thank you. Thank you. And they went home, a happy couple. And they have a five-month-old son, Liam. And they're supposed to get married. But guess what? Will wants to call off the wedding. Because he believes Linda was cheating with men and women. And Will is certain that he is not the father of that little baby. So we've given Linda's son, Liam, a paternity test, and we've also given Linda a lie detector test. We're going to have them both here, okay? <laughs> so you went home. Everything was great. Everything was great. We Just shortly after we left the show, we found out we were pregnant with a baby. And that was Will's dream to have a son of his own. And look at that baby. You give that baby a beard, and they, they're identical. You can't he, convince Will of this. He says the baby's got green. He has blue eyes, and the baby's got green eyes. And so that right there tells him. Well, you have brown eyes. I have brown eyes. What do brown and blue together make? Green. He doesn't buy that. He also thinks you've been messing around. Most, with, with your ex. With my ex, with, uh, with women, my best friend, my maid of honor, who's here with us today, and he thinks that I'm, I'm messing around with her. You've already bought your wedding dress. I have a thousand dollar wedding dress that was my grandmother's, and my grandmother's dying of cancer. And we had it altered so it fit me. Uh, we have our bridesmaid dresses. Your wedding cake. Uh, wedding cake, invitations, the wedding is completely paid for. And now, He's calling everything off. He says until he knows that his son is his and that I am the faithful, loyal woman that I say that I am, he doesn't want to get married. Do you love him with all of this going on? I love Will more than anything in my whole life. He stepped up as a father to my two children from a previous relationship, and he is an amazing dad, an amazing father. And Why would he turn on you this way? I think that he has doubts. He says that he's been with a lot of women and never got anyone pregnant, and the fact that I got pregnant was just either A, a miracle, or it ain't his. All right, this is what Will had to say. Watch. <laughs> I'm here because I honestly believe my fiance's five-month-old son, Liam, is not mine, and she's cheating on me. When Linda told me she was pregnant, I was ecstatic. I could not wait to have my first child with the love of my life. Three months ago, I started to notice he looked absolutely nothing like me. I began to suspect Linda was cheating on me. I caught Linda flirting with my friend. I found strange numbers around the house, and random guys were calling my phone. Linda and I are supposed to get married, but if I find out she's cheating or that Liam's not mine, the wedding's off. Here's Will. <laughs> Will. Yes, sir. You don't look like that little boy. Maybe a little bit, but lots of people look like other people. Okay. I want to know why your wedding ring is on the wrong finger. Because we're not married yet. <laughs> we're going to give it back. And then I'll keep it until we get married. So you know that I'm the woman that I say that I am. All right, well, that's why we're here, to find out. Why do you doubt her? She talks to her ex all the time. We have a kid together. Yeah, you go to the store for milk, and a 10-minute errand takes three hours. <laughs> That's not true. You think she's been with women? Yes. Well, when she was younger, she did have yeah! girlfriends. <laughs> and now, now a lot of her friends are bisexual, and she hangs well, out with them. Sometimes there's a little experiment when you're young and things like yes, that. Yes. Well, that's what I thought it was. But now she hangs out with the same people again. And really, yes. you're just friends with them, aren't you? So she says. And by the way, if this child is yours, then that's the miracle baby, I guess, right? No, you must be. All right. So first of all. We're going to have the DNA test. And then we'll do the lie detector. When it comes to five-month-old Liam, Will, 
You are the father. All right. <laughs> Here we go. You are asked if you have ever cheated on Will with his friend that he thinks Liam looks like. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. <laughs> you were asked if you ever cheated on Will with a woman. Yeah, let's see. Sorry to say this, Will. <laughs> she was telling the truth. <laughs> You were asked if you ever cheated on Will during your entire relationship with him. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. I'm sorry. says the only reason that Tony is denying her daughter is because he was cheating on his wife, Gita, doesn't want to get busted and exposed. That's his baby! That's his baby! That's his baby! I trust my husband, and if Tony says he's not the father, then he's not. Tony! Don't touch me, sir. Keep watching to find out the unforgettable DNA results. Get off my stage! Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. This is Cassandra. Cassandra's here because she says she's 100% positive that this man, Tony, is the father of her four-month-old daughter, Sanaira. Cassandra says the only reason that Tony is denying her daughter is because he was cheating on his wife, Gita, and doesn't want to get busted and exposed, according to Cassandra. <laughs> this is how angry Cassandra is. My name is Cassandra, and I'm here today to prove to a man named Tony that he is the father of my four-month-old daughter, Sanaira. Tony told his wife that he only slept with me while they were separated, but that is not true. We were sleeping together for months before they got separated, and Tony's just lying to cover his ass. Gita is a sorry excuse for a woman. She makes me sick. She called my baby ugly. She also said she looked like a monkey. No wonder why Tony cheated on her. I did not make this baby by myself, and today I will prove that he is the father of my daughter, Sanaira. As I understand this, Cassandra, the, re the real reason why you think Tony is denying your daughter is because if he didn't deny your daughter, then he would be sleeping with you when Gita thinks he wasn't. Exactly. Is that right? Yes, that's very true. We gave you a lie detector test, so we're going to find yes, out. Yes, you did. All right. This is what they had to say. Watch this. Take a look. I know I'm not the father of Cassandra's baby, Sonari. Cassandra's trying to cause problems between me and my wife, Gita, but I refuse to let her lies come between us. I trust my husband, and if Tony says he's not the father, then he's not. The dates do not add up. It's impossible for that child to be mine. Cassandra said that she was sleeping with someone else, so how the hell can she be sure that Tony is the father? I have 11 kids that I know are mine, and I know Cassandra's baby isn't. Sonari looks nothing like me. Cassandra, I'm sick and tired of your childish games. When you find out that Tony is not the father, you need to take your baby and move on with your life. Here they are, Tony and Gita. Come on out. <laughs> Tony, you admitted to Gita that you were messing with her, yeah, Cassandra, told you, told her. but you said that you all were kind of broken up at the time. We were separated. Right, separated. And what Cassandra says is, it wasn't during that period, just that period. Cassandra's a liar. It I'm a liar, a Tony. You're I'm a liar. liar. You're I'm a liar. liar. I'm a So you ain't sleeping with me while she was still here? You're a no. See, I'm not you're talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm 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 talking to you
coming from. I'm more interested in Tony. Tony, yeah. if you admitted to having this child, then you would be sleeping at a time your wife didn't think you were together, correct? That's correct. So that's why this child's not yours. That's right. Because not only do we have the DNA test, we got a lie detector yeah. test. Here's a lie detector test first. This will determine when you were sleeping together. Cassandra, you were asked during the four months you and Tony were together, June through October, you had sexual recourse. You admitted to having sex with Tony more than 20 times. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. That's <laughs> Cassandra, you were asked had sexual intercourse with Tony after he and his wife, Kita, got back together in August. You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. You were asked if Tony lie on the show about what you You said yes. The lie detector determined telling the truth. And now, Tony, if this is your child, if this is your child, you're going to be responsible for this child. Of course I am. I'm responsible for okay. all the children. Okay. All 11. Wow. When it comes to four-month-old Sonaira, Tony... Is Tony now the father of 12 kids? Keep watching to find out the unforgettable DNA results. No! 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 Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. My name is Cassandra, and I'm here today to prove to a man named Tony that he is the father of my four-month-old daughter, Sanaira. Tony told his wife that he only slept with me while they were separated, but that is not true. I know I'm not the father of Cassandra's baby, Sanaira. Cassandra's trying to cause problems between me and my wife, Gita, but I refuse to let her lies come between us. I trust my husband, and if Tony says he's not the father, then he's not. Cassandra, you admitted to having sex with Tony more than 20 times. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. That's no! No! And now, when it comes to four-month-old Sonaira, Tony, you are not the So she had to, had to be my baby, right? We're I not told even, you. We're not no, talking about it. You don't want to hear it? I don't want to hear that. You, you, you brought talking, me up here to me. keep sleeping you with this right? You brought me. You brought me you up brought to me. New York to keep, you to keep sleeping you with this shit. Here. You, you serious? You serious? Yeah, I don't want to take you there. Are you serious? I told you I am not Stop lying. You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm dead ass serious. Oh, I'm dead ass serious. Keep watching to find out the unforgettable DNA results. No! Shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. Will Kendra find out her husband Richard had a baby with another woman? He is the father. What's going to happen? Bye bye, Bertie. Richard? No! 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 The fifth and sixth man tested. Which one is the father? and more shocking DNA drama that you'll never forget. Margaret is 16. She claims that I was her first and only, but I know a couple of guys that she's been with. We're gonna find out right now. This is Tara. This is Tara's husband, Mike. This is their baby, Michaela. You don't think it adds up to you. No. Neither does the father. Look at me, I'm black. 
It's not mine. I've never been unfaithful to Michael ever. Michael? Tomorrow, all of the shocking paternity test results will be revealed.